The Apostle Paul writing letters. A woman serving children some food. A lighthouse. All of these images are custom and they're completely free. Each of these I've created with text prompts using AI to create the image completely free. For this first one of Paul, here is the text I used. I said, create a photorealistic image of the Apostle Paul writing a letter with a short beard and wearing ragged robes. And this is what AI generated. AI did all the work. This next one, guessed it, AI again. Create an oil painting showing a woman serving poor people food. And he created these images in seconds that would have taken me years. And even then I could not have created these. Of course, the lighthouse as well. I said, put a lighthouse on a hill in the dark. This is what it created. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use AI to create custom images totally for free. For free! For free! So first of all, who or what is Dolly? So Dolly is the AI, the generative AI that generates and creates things developed by OpenAI. And it's designed to create images from text description. You type in the text and it spits out an image based off of its research. The name Dali is actually a combination of the famous surrealist artist Salvador Dali with this awesome mustache and the animated character Dali. from Disney. And so together, that's where the name idea came from for Dali. And the model, this AI model was trained on a massive data set, tons of images text image pair. So it was trained to learn creative and unique images based on text prompts. It's incredible. Uh, that's this AI software. If you go to the website, you can go to openai.com and there's Dolly there. And they have now Dolly 2, which is even smarter and better than the original. The problem is Dolly 2 costs money. And I told you we're doing this for free. For free! For free! So how do we do it? Well, first of all, I want to show you how to create effective Dolly prompts. So first of all, I want you to know there's variations. Every time you put in a text prompt, it's going to create four unique images of different variations. And details matter. You need to tell the AI, you need to tell Dolly the style you want. The more detailed you are, the better images you'll get back. A bad example is a cat on mat. That's a bad example. A better example would be a cat in a hat dancing on mat with a cane. You can see that would be what it would create for a cat on a mat. And I actually put this prompt in to AI and cat in the hat dancing on mat with cane. You have these two very realistic cats doing their thing on the mats with the top hat. Fantastic. This is the website I was talking about for free. And right now, as of this recording, today is August 14th, 2023. You can go to bing.com slash images slash create. You would be able to see this prompt at the top. You'll see it's Microsoft Bing. And it's an image creator powered by Dolly that we just talked about, powered by the AI engine. And you'll see your name. You need to log in and have a Microsoft account, which is free. And with a free account, you have the option to create. So you can start typing your text right here to tell it what to do. Now you'll notice this little icon over here on the right. What that icon is, is that's your credits. And every week, Microsoft gives you 100 credits where you can create images quickly for yourself with Boost. Now, this is important to note, if you run out, image generation may take longer, but it will still work. So you can create, in theory, unlimited custom AI images. For free! For free! It's just they take longer when you run out of your weekly credits. And every week, automatically, these replenish for fast image creation. So I'm going to do a live demonstration in a minute, which will blow your mind. But before we do, I want to go ahead and show you a few more things really fast. So this is a great website. I'll put the link below. But kimp.io slash dolly2 gives you some more details about this. So getting specific about your style is uber important. You've got to be specific. AI is like, the, it's like a child, a very talented artistic child. So this example, you can see they typed in cityscape at sunset and it created all these different photos of these unique cities. What's crazy is most of these probably don't exist. These are not actually cityscapes. AI just generated them. 
from its database. So that's Cityscape at Sunset. You got a few examples. If you add in there city set, Cityscape at Sunset in Retro Vector Illustration, the example you can see it's creating these vectors, it's creating these retro lit looks. So more details give you more specific images. Here's another example. The first one is paintings of a flower vase. Okay, so you've got some in front of a window, different flower vases. And then if you scroll down, more detailed Memphis style painting of a flower vase on a kitchen table with a window in the backdrop. So this is a specific style of painting. You can see how much more detail it is. Now, the more details you give it, the better, as long as you don't confuse the AI. But here's an example of a photo of a teddy bear on a skateboard in Times Square. Again, guys, this is insane. It just created this custom image. So you can scroll down here. You can tell it what colors to use. 3D render of a pink balloon dog in a violet room. You can tell it what colors to use, what moods. You can talk about emotions. So you can tell it to be happy or sad or whatever else. This one is an illustration of a cat sitting on a couch in the living room with a coffee mug in its hand. So there's just cats, not much expression. And then you can see all they did was add in happy to give it a mood. And now you've got these much happier cats drinking their hot chocolate. Emojis, you can you can give it emojis, you can do it what else to, to tell you, and you can change things up. Again, the more description you give it, the lighting, the photo lens effect, you can tell it what you want to see. Uh, you can tell it to do modern art or anything else. So there's a lot of things to learn. And again, don't this video is just an introduction to this sock to what you can do. You can Google this and find out a lot more that I'm sharing with you. But the crazy part is you can tell it to create photorealistic paint and everything else. Now, let's get into that live demonstration. So I'm going to pull over mine. So you see here I am. I'm at the image creator. This is my account. I've just been playing with it for a few minutes. So let's say, for example, how do we use this in seminary? So let's say we want to show a student who is studying the scriptures and you want to create an image that you can't find online. So I'll put in here a photo photorealistic young man study, uh, studying the Bible um, on his bed. And I'll hit enter. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's sometimes it, it's trying to avoid people who are weird creating content, so sometimes it'll catch you. So don't stress out. I'm going to create another one. Photo realistic picture of a teenager reading scriptures on maybe the bed is what freaked it out the couch so here we go it's working it just used up one of my little credits here and it's creating this image you can see it's always going to give you prompts as well. You can create pixel art or all kinds of custom stuff. So here you go. I just created two photorealistic uh, images of teenagers. We have uh, a, a young man and a young woman. And it's interesting. So one thing you can tell about the AI, the AI struggles with fingers <laughs> and sometimes with overlapping objects. Like, I don't know what's going on here with that scriptures or what that is. It's being absorbed into the couch, and here he has a smaller and a larger set. And over here, this young woman, beautiful young woman with very cool hair, but her hand, something looks wrong. Look at that middle finger. It's a little bit long, uh, so that's a little bit disturbing. Uh, but what you can do is I'm using AI. But overall, I like the image. If she's reading scriptures, it's a good sign. You can see here how the scriptures are kind of kind of over, look weird. Again, this is AI generated. It doesn't know what it's it, it's creating this stuff. It doesn't understand how it all works, but I can still make work, use of that. So young woman reading scriptures. So I'm gonna create that, I'm gonna save it. And now I have that folder. I'm gonna go ahead and I will add that to my demonstration. So examples, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one away. I'm going to take my image that I just downloaded. I know I download to my pictures. Pictures, pictures, pictures. And I will go look at things by details. Do, 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 and I will sort by date. 
And here it is. There's a young woman reading. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Bring it over. And there's the picture. I just, I just custom created this totally unique image of this woman. Now, I don't like the, the that her hands are messed up by the scriptures. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this crop feature inside of Google Slides. And I'm going to go up here. Let's just, that should do it. Then I'll hit crop again. And now her hands are cut out and you can see this. So she is, there, she, there you go. We just created our AI image based on a custom prompt. Let's see what AI does with a scripture from the Bible. So it says, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, might, mind, and strength. Interesting. So that's what it's done. You can see here the AI struggles with words. See the words? It, it is trying to make sense of them. It's got one here, loving, some kind of God image and everything else. So it's very confused. That wasn't very helpful. So let's make it more realistic. So I'm going to say uh, photo realistic. If you want photos, it's a good one to put in there. Photo realistic painting uh, or photo, photo realistic picture of Jesus teaching people to love each to love God with smiling faces. Okay, let's try that out. So let's let AI do its thing. And again, you can, I recommend you can use Google and get images off the internet if you like, because, or you can create custom images. So you can see, I don't really care for two of these images. That is interesting, but I was very broad in my language. Look at those fingers. See how his hand, the hands are messed up. That's a limitation of AI today. It, it really struggles with hands. So let's correct this. Um, so, that's photorealistic. Let's do oil painting. Oil painting of Sermon on the Mount. Jesus is teaching people to love God. Let's try that out. So AI takes some time to do its thing. And there you go. Now you have an oil painting of Jesus teaching people standing on a mount. And it looks pretty, pretty good. So it's really handy when you have verses or things that you don't, uh, that you don't have a picture for and you want to create a custom picture to make a point. Let's try one more. Uh, photo of the apostle Paul teaching in Rome, in ancient Rome, with the Colosseum in the background. So here you go. That appeared exactly what we wanted. Uh, his head, the ear is a little bit disturbed. So let's look at this one. Okay, there's, it's like an Apostle Paul with some weird kind of scripture stand with uh, fun there and here's number three okay he's teaching he's preaching that was pretty good he's got scriptures he's preaching to people and here he is his uh, eyes are a little bit twerked coliseum's a little deformed but you can see the point that's what ai can do to help you create images so those are things that you can do to create images in your class so i just i encourage you to test it out for yourself and see what you think Again, this is if you can't find tool, if you can't find images using Google or so forth, you can go to thisbean.com images and you can use AI to create custom images for your class and your lessons. And I hope this video helps. Uh, feedback welcome. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. Thank you.